Welcome back to the Patrick O'Shea Road to the Show. Here at MB15, the show is episode 4, as we are here in AAA with the Gwinnett Braves to take on the AAA Norfolk Tides. Patrick O'Shea batting third, and here up with runners on first and second in the top of the first inning. The pitch, and Patrick O'Shea goes down swinging. And uh, the slump continues. If you watched the last video, you would, you would know that uh, Patty has not done the best of recently. He's been in a bit of a slump. Here, he's breaking the slump. Right center field in the gap. Patrick O'Shea heads into second. Standing up, he's got himself an extra base hit. And the slump is broken. And I'll pick things up later on in the game. Top of the eighth, 9-1 to one, Tides lead. And Patty draws himself a walk. Seven pitch at bat. He gets on first base. And he notices that no one's paying attention. And the catch is the one to throw down because no one's there. So Patty gets a stolen base. And Patty decides that maybe just a fluke thing. But no, he tries it again. It's not a fluke thing. Gets a stolen base again. So he steals second, steals third. And then the next batter up launches one into the right field seats. So Patty O'Shea scores on the play on a two-run shot. But it would be too little too late as they would drop the game 9-5 to the Norfolk Tides. Patty goes 1-4 for four on the day with a double. Getting one hit. Definitely better than slumping, but it's, it's not the best either. So now he's batting 229. Here in the top of the first, still against the Norfolk Tides. This time a day game. Two outs in the inning. The kick. Lay the pitch from the opposing Norfolk Tide pitcher, and Patty grounds with the shortstop. He has a bit of trouble with it, and O'Shea beats it out at first, but it's going to be ruled an error on the shortstop. Gets hit off his glove, and then Patty goes to try to steal second, slides in, and he's safe. That's three stolen bases so far in this video, three in a matter of two games. Now we'll pick things up way later in the game. Top of the eighth, Tide's in the lead, 2-0. As Patty's up 2-2, count one out, runs on first and second, rips one down the right field line. He's going to score one run at least. He holds up at first base despite the ball rolling over into the corner. And two runs come around, so Patty ties the ball game. Pick things up, runs on the corners and extra innings as Patty rips one into right field. That'll score one, so that's three RBIs in the day for Patty and three runs in the day for the Gwinnett Braves. And they would end up winning this game 3-2 as Patty single-handedly wins them the ball game. While Josh Chapman, fellow stirrup man, gets the victory in the pitching as Patty goes 2-5. for five. So now we pick things up in a matchup against the Durham Bulls. Here as Majestic Greens Stadium, Bull Durham. Top of the first inning, Patty up with two outs. Wearing some long sleeves because it's a bit chilly outside as he... Grounds right out to the first base, but he makes solid contact. That's something that he's been doing, and sometimes it just doesn't go your ways. Later on in the fourth inning, down by three, and Patty, once again, he's a bit late, but solid contact up to the warning track, and it's a pop-up. But yeah, solid contact. Sometimes it just doesn't go your way. It goes right into people's gloves. So now we go to the top of the ninth. Gwinnett losing once again, 6-2 to two, to Durham in the top of the ninth as Patty's leading off. Here comes the pitch. And it's ripped into deep center field. But it's at the warning track. So Patrick O'Shea. Not looking like he's going to do anything this game. And he doesn't do anything this game. He's 0 for 4 on the day. And 0 for... And the Braves drop the game 6-2 to 2 to the Durham Bulls. Only hitting two hits. Two hits all game for the Gwinnett Braves that game. And I'll pick things up in another game against the Durham Bulls. While Patty's hitting 227 on the season. Top of the first, runner on second, one out as Patty lines this one down the right field line. And will get into the corner as Patty holds up at first. But the runner scores from second and Patty picks himself up an RBI. Or as my Little League coach used to call, you got yourself a ribby. So top of the third inning now, 4-3 to three Gwinnett lead. And Patty rips one back to the track, to the wall. It's high, it's far. See ya, Patrick O'Shea. The luck of the Irish... Blasts that one over the right field fence. His second AAA home run. His second career home run. As he extends the Gwinnett Braves lead. So we'll pick things up in the top of the fourth now for Patty. 
Lazardo's on first and second and two adds, and this time he rips it into right field in front of the right fielder for a base hit. Runner holds up at third base, and the Gwinnett Braves would have bases loaded upcoming, as Patty has gotten hit in all of his at-bats so far in the day. Top of the six, down by two, seven to five. Two outs, runner on second. And Patty rips this one into center field. The runner will round third. Head home, the cutoff man cannot get him gunned down, as Patty picks up another, another RBI on the day. So it's a one-run ball game as Patty attempts to steal second base. He slides and he's got the stolen base using those fleet feet that he's gotten ever since picking up those new cleats. So now it's a one-run ball game still as Patty goes up the middle for another base hit. He's come up all these times in the game and he's got a base hit in all of them. Five hits on the day in five at-bats. Patrick O'Shea, the luck of the Irish, paying off for him. Still one run ball the game though, and he's on second with a runner on first. That's hitting right field. Patty's gonna ignore the stop sign. Head home. The throw comes. He avoids the tag, and Patrick O'Shea single-handedly ties this ball game up because he does not ignore signs. But unfortunately, the Braves do drop this one to Durham, nine to five in extra innings as Patty goes five for seven on the day. Now we'll pick things up in the next game, but first let's take a look. Listen to Patrick O'Shea's press conference before this game after his five-hit appearance last night. A great man told me, told me once that after a game, 30 seconds after it's over, it's gone. You move on and look forward to the next one. Well, there you have it from the man himself, Patrick O'Shea. He does not like to pat himself on the back. He likes to keep his head down, move on to the next game, and just keep trucking, keep being motivated, keep working hard till he gets to his destination, and that is the Major League Baseball. So until he gets to the majors, he will not be patting himself on the back for five hit games in AAA. He'll be patting himself on the back for five hit games in the Major Leagues 20 years after he retires. So bottom of the first, we start things off against the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Yankees affiliate. As Patty goes down the right field line, starting this ball game off nicely with a double down the right field line as he heads into second base, standing up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy for Patty O'Shea. So bottom of the third now, still all knotted up at nothing because this team could not drive him in in the first. As Patty rips this one to the left center back to the track, it's going to hit off the wall. As Patty's going to head in a second, thought about third for a split second, but decided wisely to hold up. And he picks up another double on the day. So now runners on first and second with two outs. The windup and the pitch is ripped into right field. Patty this time gets the go around from the third base coach, and they don't even try to throw him out as Patrick O'Shea scores on the play. Patty O'Shea scores on the play. That rhymes. And now bottom of the 10th inning, 1-1 one -one ball game as Patty comes up with no outs. Runners on first. A chance to be the hero. As here comes the pitch, and Patty rips this one right at the right fielder. Made solid contact. Like I said, sometimes it just does not go well for you as you're hitting the right two people. But Patty would go two for five in the day with a run and a two doubles. But the Braves do fall to the Scranton Wilkes Bear Rough Riders. And with that being said, that will wrap things up here for this episode four of the Patrick O'Shea Road of the Show. Patty has boosted his average from a low 200s up to a 304 with 17 hits and 56 at bats with two home runs, six RBIs, and slugging 500. Start to turn things around in his career, and maybe it wasn't too early to call him up in AAA because he is raking now. And with that being said, that'll wrap things up. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I'm saying goodbye. Doesn't have diamonds on his on his rosary.